given me uh, just the right segue i needed to uh, talk a little bit more about those three parties and their manifestos what is it that uh, you know the three main contenders barring the army of course have uh, said when it comes to what they hope to give voters once they cast their vote uh, that's uh, we're talking about a vote that takes place less than 12 hours uh, for the people of pakistan will they make an informed choice about who they want to vote into power well all politicians make pre poll promises no matter which country they belong to but but a lot of them end up becoming just that promises so let's take a look at what's being uh, said by the three big players in pakistan let's start with the incumbent pmln the party is in trouble with the lack of a powerful leader and the conviction of the former prime minister in a corruption case the pmln has to make an extra effort to bring the votes in it's Let's talk about what it says when it comes to reviving the economy. It promises to revive top gear economic activity, increase the GDP growth to 7%. It also intends to increase tax to GDP ratio from 13 to 18% and develop socio-economic zones to boost industrial development. Now the PMLN also says it wants to improve healthcare and expand Nawaz Sharif's national health program by enhancing 20% annual healthcare expenditure. Shehbaz Sharif has also promised to implement a malnutrition reduction program if voted back to power. Now, other highlights include interest-free loans to 2 million entrepreneurs, disbursing loans to 2 million persons with disabilities and creating a world-class railway system. And when it comes to ties with India, the PMLN has claimed that it will work toward reducing tensions with the neighbor and an equal and strictly risk on a strictly reciprocal basis. Up next is the PPP. It was the first to unveil its manifesto. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari is looking to take forward his mother's legacy. It remains the most progressive uh, manifesto for all. It speaks about issues regarding the rights of women, from bringing in legislation to ensure access to basic health to introducing a mother and child support scheme. The PPP also promises issuance of free of cost family health cards along with health cards for differently abled persons. Now when it comes to foreign policy Bilawal Bhutto and his party have maintained a mature stand it says it needs to maintain dialogue with immediate neighbors and consistent ties with all global powers it also promises to find an effective solution to regional issues the party also promises to revitalize the Benazir income support program and increase education spending in the country's gdp But what really sets the manifesto apart from the rest is the inclusion of their aim to criminalize enforced dis disappearances. They also plan to establish a truth and reconciliation commission in post-conflict zones. This step will assist in ascertaining the mistakes of history and rectify them from being made in the future. And of course, uh, let's talk about cricketer turned politician Imran Khan now. He's blamed the incumbent government for the rot in the system. He says that he will make Pakistan an Islamic welfare state and that his party will transform the country along the principles that made the foundation of Medina, that is humanity and justice. He promised to bring accountability to the government and reform this justice system and uh, in the in a country or rather pardon me Imran has also promised that the former uh, forms uh, that uh, the government that he forms pardon me will ensure freedom of press in the country when it comes to ties with india imran khan has said that uh, the will implement the most viable policy to ensure peace in the region with structural reforms in the ministry of foreign affairs and says that his government will take steps to utilize pakistan's strategic location in asia He's also been vocal about the sorry state of the country's economy. In his vision statement, he says his party will utilize taxpayers' money to eliminate graft, create 10 million jobs and 5 million homes, and build an efficient and robust tax policy.